That's no good. Turn it off. Stop it. Turn it off. That won't work. It's no good. But what do you make a trailer for? To give the public an idea of what kind of a picture to expect. But, boss, we... Hilarious, romantic, tender, exciting. Make up your minds. It can't be all of those things. Mr. Schaefer, if you'd look at the picture... I don't have to look at the picture. I know you're wrong. Tender, exciting. Why, they're practically opposites. You've got to decide what kind of a picture this is. Is it a romantic love story? Is it an exciting thriller? Is it a hilarious comedy? Make up your minds. Now go to work and fix it up. Hey, Rex. How are you? Ed, how are you? Good to see you. How's the ghost of Mrs. Muir? It's pretty good, I think. How's New York? Fine. Say, Rex, have you seen Miracle on 34th Street? Yes, on the preview. I've never heard laughs like it in the theater before. Oh, is that right? Now, don't miss it. I was crazy about it. You really think we've got something, huh? I don't know whether the women will like it, but it's a great man's picture. Well, it's nice to see you, Ed. Got to get back to work. Yeah. See you later. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. Ann yeah. Baxter, Hello, good to see Ed. you. How are you? I haven't seen you since the Academy Awards. Congratulations on winning that Oscar. Thanks, Ed, very much. Oh, uh, say, Ann. Yeah? Have you seen Miracle on 34th Street? Have I? Ed, it's wonderful. Yeah, I understand. It's a pretty good comedy. Comedy? Well, I suppose that's true. I had a million laughs, but the thing that got me were, were the tears in between. It's so tender and charming and warm. I don't know how the men are going to like it. It's a great woman's picture. Is that so? Oh, there's one scene between John Payne and Maureen O'Hara. But he's trying to prove... No. I'm not going to spoil it for you. You go and see it. I'm sorry, Mr. Schaefer. I'm just learning to drive. So I see. How are you, Peggy Ann? <laughs> I'm fine now that I know I didn't hit you. Tell me, have you seen Miracle on 34th Street? Three times, and it's simply groovy. Mr. Gwen's just wonderful. You know, we work together in Bob's Son of Battle. Yeah, I saw it. He's great in it. Wait till you see him in this. You'll love him, and you'll love the picture, too. I tell you, it's a groovy movie. Don't you think so, Dick? Dick? Yeah. Dick Hames, I didn't see you. Well, I've been on the floor. That sudden stop got me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but seriously, Peggy's right. That Miracle on 34th Street is really something. You know, with me, moving pictures have got to move. They've got to be exciting and different. And this thing is really it. It's the most unusual story that I've ever seen. In the last 20 minutes of the picture, had me sitting on the edge of my seat every second of the time. And what a finish. Yeah. Maybe I ought to take a look at it. Well, if you run it again, tell me about it. Okay, we're ready. greatest picture I have ever made. And I've got the angle on the trailer. Boys, we've got to get across to the public that that picture has everything. Why, it's hilarious. It's romantic. It's tender. It's charming. It's delightful. It's exciting. And it's groovy. Yes, yes, Mr. Schaefer. That does it, boss. Mr. Schaefer, you've got a great idea. Naturally. Now, I'll tell you what we do. The Simpsons, an all-new holiday spectacular. Oh, oh, oh. With music from R.E.M.'s Michael Stipe, voiced by Ally McBeal's Peter McNichol. You've got to 
get to the North Pole. And starring Drew Barrymore. Join me at this Fox holiday event. All of the other reindeer next Friday at 8, 7 central on Fox. Every holiday season, there's one toy everyone has to have. I want the Turbo Man action figure with the arms and legs that move, and the Rock and Roar jetpack, and the Boomerang shooter. Getting it is every child's dream. Whoever doesn't can be a real loser. Finding it. You got the doll, right? Is this father's nightmare. I'll get that toy. I promise. Whoa! Nothing like waiting till the last minute, I would, sir. Especially on Christmas Eve. Child's Christmas magical. Hey, buddy. From the director of Mrs. Doubtfire. You want a Turbo Man for Christmas? Forget it. I'm not going to sit in your lap. Tony, show That was taken this morning. And from the director of the Flintstones. Don't open that up. No, no, no. Of course, there's uh, some assembly required. You know what you guys are? Nothing but a bunch of sleazy con men in red suits. Schwarzenegger. Sinbad. I work for the post office and I'm unstable. Tell him. This man is totally insane. Thank you. Christmas comes but once a year. No! Jingle all the way. You picked the wrong day. family left on their Christmas vacation. Did we miss the flight? No, you just made it. Yeah! They forgot one small thing. Have yourself. I've a terrible feeling. Christmas. Did you lock up? Let yeah. yourself be light. Do we set the timers on the lights? Mm-hmm. What else could we be forgetting? Our troubles will be out. Kevin! Ah! Home alone. Police in the northern suburbs are on the lookout for a pair of burglars who are calling themselves the Wet Bandits. We know that you're in there. It's Santa Claus and his elf. Get off my property. This is my house. I have to defend it. Where's your mother? My mom's in the car. Where's your father? He's at work. What about your brothers and sisters? I'm an only child. Where do you live? I can't tell you that. Why not? Because you're a stranger. He's a kid. I mean, what can a kid do to us? Kids are stupid. I know I was. You still are, Marv. This is it. Ow! I don't care if I have to get out on your runway and hitchhike. I am going to get home to my son. Ah! Yes! Ah! Ah! Where are you, you little creep? I'm going to kill that kid! Why'd you take your shoes off? Why are you dressed like a chicken? Gus Polinski, Polka King of the Midwest. If you have to get to Chicago, we'll gladly drive you. Hey, guys. Yesterday, he was just a kid. But tonight, he's a home security system. You guys give up or you're thirsty for more? From John Hughes. You know, I got a feeling this is going to be your best Christmas ever. A family comedy without the family. Yeah. Home Alone. Are you here all alone? I'm eight years old. You think I'd be here alone? I don't think so. Directed by Chris Columbus, coming November 16th.
in the trenches. <laughs> Toss some paint cans down to greet them. Send the toolbox down to meet them. Serve the nails for Christmas dinner. Kevin is declared the winner. May I do the thinking, please? in New York. You work after shave? That's kerosene. Now why would anybody soak a rope in kerosene? Merry Christmas. Ten million dollars for the microchip, Mr. Beaupre. We will find it. Their mission is deadly. It has to be on a plane. We are going to Chicago. Their technology is state of the art. 26 miners in the 14 houses we haven't checked. Their strategy is unheard of. We're going to work houses in broad daylight. It's the suburbs. Nobody's home during the day. They've got the perfect plan. That's the house. Tomorrow we hit. He's got the chicken pox. What? And he's home alone. Nobody's going to do anything about this. I'll just have to do it myself. I'll go in the front. Heads up. John Hughes, the writer and producer of Home Alone. See ya. This Christmas, staying home will become an adventure again. Home Alone 3. Wait till you see what I do next. Written by John Hughes. Directed by Raja Gosnell.